What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana back at you with another YouTube video. Today we got introduced to a brand new ghost type Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Which is perfect timing considering it is spooky season and Halloween is less than a week away. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm just a little bit obsessed with this new Pokemon. Even more so than Belly Bolt. So if you're interested in seeing what the newest Pokemon that was added to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is, then just keep on watching. And of course if you're new here, hit that subscribe button because it helps you girl out. And give this video a thumbs up if you are a Pokemon fan so we can push out into the YouTube algorithm so that more Pokemon fans can see it. We can all talk about the newest Pokemon in the comments. And if you would like another way to support the channel, please feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But let's go ahead and meet our newest Pokemon. Bye. Bye. Okay, so per usual, there is two short trailers up on the YouTube channel, and then we'll hop over to the Scarlet and Violet website to see if we can find out a little bit more info on our newest ghost type. I'm here on behalf of the Naranja Academy's ghost type Pokemon club. Oh, they got clubs. She's from the orange school and not the grape school, so I'm wondering if maybe this is a version exclusive? Maybe I'm thinking too much into, <laughs> into this. Mimikyu! I love Mimikyu. Mimikyu's so cute. Okay, Gengar. Okay, so Mimikyu and Gengar are gonna be in this game. At least we know that. What did you see here earlier, girl? Give us the tea. <gasps> What's that? Litwick? It's just a candle. A candle? Okay, it's definitely not Litwick. <laughs> oh! <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> Look at it! Girl, you're right, that is cute. That's actually adorable. It's a little ghost puppy and it's friendly. Oh, who's a good Pokemon? <laughs> His little candle. Oh my god, it wants to play fetch. I, I'm i obsessed. This is literally my dog. My, whenever Mia finds a stick, this is actually how she acts. Oh my god. How cute. Really sucks the life out of you. Girl, you good? Oh. <laughs> Look at how happy. This thing's adorable. It kind of gives me like Hisuian Growlithe vibes with the wings. Oh. Girl, you just die? Wait, did she just die? What's happening? <laughs> what just happened? Hold on, okay, let's see the other trailer because girl, did you actually just pass away? What's going on? Okay, so here is the actual gameplay trailer. So maybe we'll find out what our cute little ghost puppy is called. Okay, Haunter, Mimikyu, Ghastly. They're all hanging out in the picnic area. There's our boy Gengar. This girl's like, ghost type trainer, let's go. Okay, here's our little puppy, our little ghost puppy. Paldean region, grave, grave art. I think it's supposed to be like graveyard, like a play on that. Look at how cute, it's little. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Oh, it's literally taking out this mistrebus. Oh, and it burrows. Oh my gosh, it's just little candles in the ground. That's actually so cute. I'm gonna get that confused with Litwick, just watch. <laughs> okay, that was our gameplay trailer. So let's go ahead and hop over to the Scarlet and Violet website to see if we can find out a little bit more about Graveyard. Okay, I'm hopping over to the Pokemon section to see if we can find out a little bit more about Graveyard. Look at how cute. We've been introduced to a lot of Pokemon lately. Okay, Graveyard. It has powerful jaws that can shatter bones. A single bite from Graveyard can be grieve grievous? Grievous, like General Grievous. Oh my gosh, okay, so he's strong. He's got powerful jaws. Okay, so it's the ghost dog Pokemon. He's only two feet tall. It's 77 pounds. Why does a ghost weigh anything? That never makes sense to me, but sure. And its ability is pick up. So it lurks underground and jumps out while making eerie cries. A little creepy, but okay. Normally, Graveyard barely moves, resting peacefully underground. It pokes the topmost part of its head above the ground and lights an eerie glow at its tip, and then waits for someone to approach. When a person draws near, Graveyard jumps out of the ground, letting out a spooky cry that would startle most unsuspecting people. However, it doesn't appear to do this with ill intent. Oh, he's scary 
very inadvertently. Oh, poor little guy. It's friendly and easily gets lonely, but make sure not to play with it too much. Oh my gosh. Oh, he just wants friends, but why are we not playing with it? Is this where we're gonna find out if that girl actually died? Hold on. Graybard has such a friendly and affectionate personality that paying it even the slightest bit of attention will make it so overjoyed that it will follow you everywhere you go. Oh, it's like a little stray puppy. Of all the Pokemon residing in the Paldea region, it is known to be especially easy to befriend. Oh, maybe it's gonna be a friendship evolution then. That's like, I feel like that's what they're hinting out because it says it's easy to befriend. I have a feeling that it is gonna evolve and it's gonna be due to friendship. However, Graybard will slowly and inadvertently absorb the life force of those around it, so it's best not to play with it too much. That girl actually legit like that. Oh my lord. Okay, oh, he wants friends, but he's out here hurting people without even knowing it. How sad. <laughs> okay, there is also an article. Let me see if there's like anything new in this article besides what we already know. Meet Graybard, the ghost Pokemon that haunts the Paldea region. Meet the ghost dog Pokemon whose spooky cry can be heard in the Paldea region. And this is the little video we watched on YouTube. Its cry may be spooky, but Graybard, the ghost dog Pokemon, is actually quite friendly. First discovered in the Paldea region, you'll encounter this ghost type Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. No, we didn't find out anything else, but it's adorable! Oh my God, I'm obsessed. But based on what we know, I have a couple of speculations. So for one, I'm wondering if this is gonna be a version exclusive Pokemon since she did mention that she was from a specific academy in the games, which of course you go to either school depending on which version that you get. And two, which I guess kind of blends with three. Two, I think that it is gonna have an evolution just because it is a puppy Pokemon. And since they mentioned that it's a Pokemon that's easy to befriend, it makes me think that maybe we're gonna get some kind of friendship evolution. But I think that Graybart is adorable and it is 1000% going on my team. But let me know what you guys think of Graybart down below in the comments. But that is going to wrap things up for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and as always Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye